All right, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but we got a bunch of new lights in the shop. Um, let me know what you guys think. Does it look better in here? Better videos, hopefully. It looks better to me. But uh, yeah, let's get into the action here. Got some Subaru stuff to do. So we kind of centered it <clears throat> just to find some like general location on where we wanted this. So we're going to try drilling it and then just taking some material out and uh, see how the rack fits after that. how like comically small of a drill that my can did me <laughs> like like here's a monster in comparison the cans like almost the size of this thing this thing's like oh, oh, little little tiny guy <laughs> fish full. Alright. We hole sawed that out and then just angle ground it so should be like a nice little little spot to put the rack. Let's help they're even. They look like they're a little off actually. Oops. What do you mean? Like he's getting all excited. So we did some bonking, and it, I mean, it's kind of fitting in the, the the angle of the engine. It looks super hefty when you compare it to the fenders, but they're kind of like a like a 10 degree slope or something like that. Um, but we're trying to figure out how to make both these manifolds fit. Right it's pretty snug, but we're gonna start actually building this upper rim here soon. All right, so we got this the pipe mint. I already trimmed this one up for the subframe. Subframe that needs to be trimmed up another half an inch on each side, and then got the engine sitting in here. Okay, so we'll come off of this piece here, over kind of hoop around the front. Or the oil pan, maybe. We'll have to see. Get it trimmed up to where it fits and go from there. Alright, so we got this one bar welded in. And I picked the rack up. And 
and kind of set it in place like so. And then I realized if we put the other bar in there, we won't be able to get the rack out. So great thought. Um, going to need to do a little bit more thinking on it before we continue on. So I'm going to wrap this video up and uh, we'll in the next video we will hopefully figure this design out, get this all sorted out and then maybe get the engine uh, motor mounts put in, built, ready to go and hopefully have an idea for the exhaust. You got an idea involving these headers, maybe something with the, the stock headers, I don't know. We got a plan, kind of. You guys just have to stick around to find out. So make sure you guys like the videos. Um, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because we got a lot going on with the Subaru and the crew cab and working on trying to find all the parts for the other Subaru that TDI swap. I'll put a link in this video for that one. If you guys want to go check that out and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Do, do, do.